Well, it seems the Florida sunshine is drawing more and more people to the state. New census data showing that the nation's fastest growing metro area last year was the Villages, Florida. It's a city west of Orlando, and it comes after Florida bumped New York in December to become the third most populous state in the nation. Well, the brutal winter we had here in New York has many thinking about spending their winter months in Florida or maybe some other warmer climate. And joining me now to talk about what is really an interesting topic here, the financial side of flocking to those warmer locales, Len Valletta of the Albany Financial Group. And Len, you and I were discussing this, and I, and I just really find this fascinating. You decide you're going to maybe winter someplace else, sure. but then you still have a lot of decisions to make, don't you? You really do. I mean, there's pros and cons to owning pros and cons to renting. Mm -hmm. uh, where exactly, as you mentioned, you want to end up? Do you want to go to the Carolinas? Do you want to go to Florida? Do you want to go out west? Do you want to go to the same place every single year? Do you want to have the flexibility to extend your stay? If we're having a brutal winter like, like we are this year, some people want to stay longer. So you got to think of all those things and obviously the cost of ownership as well. well what about that? Let's talk about that. I mean, you're, you're trying to make a decision and I, is it just a personal one? I mean, is there any rule of thumb about whether it's smarter to buy or to rent? There really isn't. I mean, you've got to look at uh, if, if it's a condo, what's the cost of the condo? The association fees, property taxes, if you're going to buy a single family home. Again, you've got property taxes. If you're going to finance, you've got the cost of the mortgage versus the cost of rent. And can you get the same place year after year? Can they raise the rent on you? So again, there's really a lot of factors to, to decide on. And it's not just a simple choice. And, and I'm, I'm sure you too, you have to factor in things, as you were saying, um, about what kind of implications there will be are second uh, residences, are they tax write-offs? I mean, what about, how does that work? You can definitely get some tax benefits if you're financing it. And a lot of times it makes sense to use the equity in your own home, assuming your own mortgage is paid off. But you can, in fact, deduct the interest and the property taxes and so forth. So you can definitely get some cost benefits. Some people like to rent out the unit when they're not going to be there. So if somebody said, I'm going to stay for a month mm -hmm. instead of three, they can rent out the other two to help them defray the cost. So there's really a lot of different moving parts. And it's just, just something that, you know, uh, it's, it's, as I say, just not a simple decision. All right, and it's a good reason maybe to sit down and talk to someone like you. That and could be, right? <laughs> <laughs> Len Valletta, 